Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing? Um, first of all, I want to say that if anything looks different, I dropped my brand new camera and I broke it. So I'm using my old one for now until I get my new one fixed, which is going to be, I think they said three weeks, <laughs> which is kind of a long time. But there's a lot of stuff going on right now and that's kind of the least of my worries so hopefully you guys are okay with this camera and the quality and everything um like i said i'm sorry i did something stupid and i wasn't looking look wasn't looking what i was doing i just knocked it over the lens everything so <sighs> yeah um but i still wanted to film some videos um I hope you guys are all safe and staying away from everybody. Um, I've been staying at home nonstop, and I thought, you know, I really want to get back into filming videos again for you guys. Um, I don't know about you guys, but with everything that's going on in the world, I need I need to take a break from social media, from the news and stuff like that because. You just need that. You need that fun, that break. If it's working out, makes you happy. If it's makeup, that makes you happy. If it's watching your favorite YouTuber or, you know, uh, chatting with friends, whatever it is, um, that makes you happy, then do that. You know what I mean? So, I am going to be trying to catch up on my filming because I've been pretty lazy lately and I've got to get back on a routine. Um, I'm sure a lot of us are like... Our routine is like I don't know what to do with, with myself that was a fuzzball um, so yeah that's the way I've been I've just been like what day is it uh, I don't know uh, what time is it I don't know so that's my life um, but I do have a couple of videos I'm gonna knock out today so hopefully uh, this week you guys will have back-to-back -back videos um, I'm excited like I told you guys um, last Saturday, I'm bringing back Shop Mustache, and I'm also bringing back my live chats. So hopefully you guys um, will stay tuned for those. I do have a giveaway going on right now. It's a handbag if you watch my Shop Mustache live. Um, I'm doing a giveaway for a um, really cute bag. So definitely check that video out. I will put the link down below if you haven't seen it yet. Definitely do so. Um, so yeah, let's get started for today's video. Um, I want to talk about um, my project pan. So, if you have not seen, um, I did a project pan the first of the year. Um, and last year, my project pan was a complete fail. It is, I mean, I did, I feel like I did good. Like the progress, I went through tons of powders. Um, and it was my first year, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit for that. This is my second year doing Project Pan, and um, I have been doing pretty well with my Project Pan. This is only my second check-in, so I wanted to show you guys my progress. Some of it is good progress, and some of it is not so good. So, here's all my Project Pan goodies. So, we're just going to kind of go through them, and I'm going to mark... Um, if I see some progress or whatever, we're gonna mark it. So let's go through some stuff that hasn't been such good progress, um, which is this one right here. So this is the um, Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Um, I just haven't been pulling for this one, you guys. So this one I use more as a moisturizer, has a pump on it. It, it's really nice. It smells like watermelon. Um, has these little beads in it. I heard people say that they don't like the beads, that they can feel it on their skin. I haven't had any beads come on my skin, so I can't really feel it. It's just like this little clear gel, and it has a little hint of a watermelon, and that's what it looks like, and you just kind of rub it into your skin, and like I said, I don't use mine as a primer per se. I use mine as just kind of give myself some hydration kind of like a makeup prep I guess you could say 
and that's what it looks like just gives a little glow to the skin um, but honestly I haven't made any progress on this so hopefully uh, my next check-in I can tell you guys that I've made progress but this one I did not make progress on so sorry about that so this is a per perfume and I believe it's a rollerball. I have two different ones. Yeah, this one's the rollerball and this is by Burberry. It's called Burberry Her and this is where I'm at and I didn't mark it when I first did it so I don't know my progress on that so that's me being a um, uh, what's the word not a very good project painter um, but this is where I'm at. At least you can see the progress. Like, I mean, I only have, I will link my Project Pan 2020 down below. So, this is only the second one, the second video. So, you can definitely see if I've made any progress or not. Um, I would say I've made a little bit of progress. But, I'm hoping to finish the whole thing by the end of the year. And, I do mark everything. There it is. I do mark everything. Um, just so I'll know that it's my project pan. So if I lose something, I'll be like, where is it? And I always keep track because I only have 10 things in my project pan this year. Um, but this perfume is smells so amazing. I would love to have the full bottle of this, but it's right now, um, I still have plenty of this, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so that's my progress. I am going to mark it this time with a little black marker. I'm going to stand it up and just put a little line on it. So we can see the progress from next time. This thing is this CoverGirl True Blend Under, was it Undercover Concealer? Um, this one, if you haven't seen my Battle of the Concealers, I did a Battle of the Concealer video and I don't feel like I got many views on that for some reason. Um, so I'm pretty sure most people missed that. So if you missed it, I'll link it down below. Check it out. It's just how I kind of ranked my favorite concealers from full coverage, medium coverage, to hydrating. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. But there's no way for me to show you the progress on this. Um, you cannot see any, you can't tell at all that I've made any progress with this. But I do use this. I have been using this a lot, but when I got this, it was brand new. So when I put it in my project, it was very, very, very new. So it's just gonna take a little while to see any kind of um progress so that one can't really show you much all right so this is my huda beauty um matte lipstick that i love so much and this is what we've got i did measure it if you can see that so i'm just going to mark my progress up under that line so i have used this this is one of my favorite just everyday colors. It's just so pretty and I love a good matte lip. Um, and it's not liquid lipstick, so it's not going to dry your lips out. It's pretty creamy even though it is a matte. So I think a lot of people would like these. And you can tell that I use it because it's got like this little slant on it, which I guess everybody uses their lipstick differently, but that's the way I use mine. Um, and this is the color again, Joyride. It's really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark my progress. This right here, I don't think you're going to be able to tell if I have any progress or not. Um, this is just the Too Faced. It's a very old packaging of um, the, ch the Chocolate Soleil uh, Medium Deep Bronzer. And I put it in the Project Pan because it already had hit pan. And this is just one that um, still... How? <laughs> myself in the face um it still smells like chocolate and i usually use this to contour with i didn't use it today so today i'm using what am i using today today i'm using my fenty bronzer which i love that one um so you guys picked if you haven't seen that video i did a live shut my stash and i let you guys pick out what um i what y'all wanted me to use this week and i'm actually wearing all the products you guys asked me to wear so i'm wearing my Elf foundation, I'm wearing um, Peach Perfect Powder, I'm wearing this eyeshadow palette, if you like um, my eyes. If you want me to do a get ready with me, just kind of chat about what's going on, um, 
how I'm handling things or what's what I'm doing or if you just want me to chat about like my favorite Netflix shows or just do a get, casual get ready with me using all the products that you guys picked from the live chat um let me know in the comments and I'll totally do a get ready with me if you don't like get ready with me that's fine or if you just want a tutorial on this eye shadow look that I did let me know I'll totally do that as well I know a lot of you guys were saying that you really wanted this palette. I highly recommend this palette. It's beautiful. Um, but if you want me to do uh, a tutorial or get ready with me, just let me know in the comments. I would totally appreciate your feedback. So, like I said, I don't really have any way to show you the progress on that. So, um, so the next thing I want to talk about is this highlighter. This is the Pixie by Petra highlighter. And this is in Delicate Dew. I got this for Christmas from my son. Um, Benjamin got it for me and I use both colors um, you can see that I've totally like when I first got this I think it was brand new in my project pan and I use this a lot so I honestly use both colors and sometimes sometimes I even mix them so you've got that one and then you've got that one so the top one is a little bit more bronzy maybe I guess I would say a little bit more peachy highlight and then then you have your cool tone pink um but sometimes I will mix them together sometimes I will do them separately but that is my progress I have not hit pan my goal is by the end of the year to hit pan on at least one side but I think if I'm gonna hit pan on one it's probably gonna be the pink one because I wear that one the most um highly recommend this so the next thing I want to share is my powder. This is the Hourglass powder. You remember last year I went through like I don't know how many powders. I would say at least five powders probably. Um, but let's see if you can see the progress. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the progress. Maybe you can from here. Let me see if I can. That is where I'm at. If you can see that. Okay, there's a better a better angle. So that is where I am. I'm basically more than half way done with this powder. So um, I don't really use this powder a lot. I mean, I switch out my powders. I just get bored, but I'm gonna try to finish this, hopefully, at least by you know my next update or by the end of the year, hopefully. But that is my progress on that one. Um, okay, so this one right here, is the milk makeup um, and this is just like a cooling little cooling stick and I'm pretty sure I don't know let's see uh, I still have basically the same as I had when I started if you can see that um, maybe a little bit uh, under but it looks to me like it's about the same, so I'm not going to mark it. Um, but this is just something you apply um, before your makeup just to, like, depuff the under eyes. And I do like the way this feels, but it's, it's I mean, it's not my favorite product, but definitely something I want to finish up out of my uh, collection. So, that is that. Okay, the two things I feel like I've gotten the most use out of um, is this right here. This is uh, the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Here's my, here's my progress in this. Um, I'm pretty sure when I started this, it was like a brand, almost a brand new product. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Um, but my goal is either to hit pan on it. Or to finish it completely I personally think by the end of the year this will be completely gone probably before then because I do use this a lot pretty much every day um, so hopefully you can see the progress in it and I feel like sometimes my lights are a little bright so hopefully you guys can see that but if you're looking for a pore filling primer to me this is a huge dupe for the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer, and that is one of my favorite high-end primers. This one, I feel like, is just is amazing. So, 
Highly recommend it. Last thing in my project pan for 2020. You guys, I've done so well on my foundation. When I got this, when I started my 2020 project pan, this was completely full. Look at it. I'm going to take the reflector top off. I've Look how much I've used, you guys. I'm like going through this stuff. So, um, I don't really want to mark it because, I mean, it's not completely gone off the sides or anything. But you can see like it's coming off. So, obviously, I've been really going through this. I use it a lot. Um, and like I said, when I first started my, my project 2020, um, this was brand new and it was full. So, excited about the progress of this. So, yeah, that's all my 10 products for my 2020. Like I said, I will link some videos for you guys to check out if you're bored or if you want to see um, my um, Project Pan 2020 um, what's the word I'm trying to look for? I don't know what word I'm trying to look for. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> uh, intro. That's it. If you want to see my Project Pan intro for 2020, um, this is the, um, the, um, the second update. I can't, sorry, I can't talk. The second update of that. So, I'll have that video down below. And then also, if you guys want to see my, um, love... Um, shop my stash video. I had to break it into two videos because it, it was a whole thing. But I am giving away a handbag. Um, so if you want to definitely check those video, those two videos out, I'll link those as well. And I feel like there was something else I was going to link, but I totally don't remember. But don't forget, guys, if you want to see a tutorial on this eye look, this is what I'm wearing. Almost like pop myself in the face um so that's what I'm wearing on my eyes or if you just want me to do a casual get ready with me using all the products that you guys picked for um for this week's shop my stash let me know and I'll do a get ready with me um yeah and I hope you guys are being safe and doing well everybody please you know keep your hands clean um stay inside as much as possible let's try to keep everything contained and um just social distancing is the best thing that we can do right now um try to try to help people out as much as you can let's love not hate and um just thank god for every day that we have um yeah and if you guys you know are looking forward to some more live chats let me know because I'm really wanting to talk to you guys, and I enjoyed our live chat last time. Um, so, hopefully, we can start doing that, like I said, every week. And I think that's all I want to say. So, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.